Okay, so for Sissy, I really love Sissy's design. Like, doesn't she just look like Lady in the Tramp? I'm pretty sure, like, a Cocker Spaniel? I'm not quite sure, so correct me if I'm wrong. But I love Sissy's design. And what I went for was, like, a preppy cheerleader because that's what I thought as soon as I saw her. Just because her long floppy ears. And imagine if Ty made, like, Lady in the Tramp, like, the brown version. That would be so adorable i love this design so much it was so fun to draw and i really think the flower crown and like the bandana and the pom-poms match with it so well with like the eyes this one was super fun compared to some of the other designs that you will see later on in the video but yeah i just think ty did very well with this this design and it was overall really fun to draw so Without further ado, this is Sissy, the cheerleader. So when the pictures of Fisher were first like leaked, I wasn't really quite sure about him. Like to me, he wasn't giving off Penguin. But when I got him, oh my gosh, he is an adorable Beanie Boo. And I think I love this design way better than the old ones. So for this design, he's like a little coffee shop bookworm and it's so cute. And I think it would be adorable if I made like a little beanie for him to wear and a scarf just to cover his like bald head. Anyways, I think this is one of my favorite designs just because how I drew him. At first I was completely scrambling like how do I even draw a penguin? I'm not used to it. But I think I pulled it off pretty well. Like this thing is so cute. It looks- it's just amazing. Like you would walk into a library and you would see Fisher there adorable overall i really enjoyed making him so here's fisher the bookworm okay so for hambone again i really love this design i just recently got corky and i fell in love and then they released hambone and i was just so happy now i do i mean i get his name hambone because he's ham but i didn't really like it so personally i renamed hambone to clover and Clover's like this cutesy little gardener and I like in the Easter photo shoot I released she's got this little hat and I'm gonna make her a little scarf bandana thing and I made her like holding a piece of wheat in her mouth just adorable let alone the watering pail she's like that country farmer girl that still got a lot of style this one was also really fun to draw especially the quirky little tail I just love pigtails they are so adorable and fun the only thing i wish i did better was the eyes but overall 10 out of 10 so here's clover the gardener now flint um i am not quite too sure i do think i drew him well not great as the other ones but i i don't really like the design i mean i get what they were trying to do like to create another mold for the dragons but honestly this one doesn't look that great compared to the other ones like just the colors why if they would have taken the tummy color and matched it up with like the claws and the spikes and the wings then yeah it would have hold it all held it all together a bit more but the design was just so random it was kind of hard to draw let alone those spots when i'm doing the spots it just looks like he's i don't even know i had to like blend them together so it made it look like he was censored or something i don't know but this one was not my favorite to draw and isn't my favorite at all. But I haven't gotten him in person, so here's Flint the dragon. Oh my gosh, when they released Ethel, like, I haven't gotten her yet, okay? I haven't gotten, like, any of these yet in, well, only a couple, but I haven't done a full review. I love Ethel's design. I think they should go the way they did with the show dogs, but do that with the cows. Like, oh my gosh, they could have embroidered, like, a little grape on her, on, like, the side of her back, but, and could have done, like, fruit cows. I think everyone would have loved that, personally. But for Ethel, she, um, I gave her, like, a little sweater and then a guitar, because I think she would like music and be a bit shy. But this one was also really fun. I love the cow beanie boos. They're so adorable. I just love the cow ones. So, and I'm on my way to try and get Angus, but we'll see how that goes. But overall, Ethel was really fun to draw. So here's Elsa Ethel the musician.